Hey everybody, it's me Liv. I hope everyone is doing great out there. So, the other day I was cleaning out some of my supplies and looking through my old stamps to see which ones I wanted to stash. And I came across two boxes that I have of greeting from stamps. And I realized I have a little bit of an obsession with them. Uh, and I have all the way from these old, old images um, that were out. Um, if you guys remember some of these... I think this was from like 2013 and such. Um, to some of the newer ones, like the, the couples one here um, that I got. And like the coffee one that's pretty new. Some of the clear stamps. Uh, I am definitely partial to red rubber. I, I, I will admit that. And then I also have some of the collections. Like Road Call. The 10 year anniversary one that they came out with. And um, the Bloom collection, which is this one. So, why am I showing you this chaos that I have here on my desk? Because as I was looking at this, I realized the majority of these stamps have probably not even been inked up nor used in any type of projects. And um, I just sometimes love to buy and not really get to use them. So trying to go back to one of those goals that I started in the beginning of the year to use what I have, I have decided I'm going to start a new segment here for the channel. And this is going to be called Stamp of the Month. And basically what I'm going to do is pick one company that I have a gluttony of stamps in that I really have not been using and go ahead and make as many projects as I can for that month. I am going to start in this month, for the month of June, yay, with the greeting farm because I found two bins full of stamps here. So I'll be creating tons of different projects with them. You'll actually probably see me even merge a couple together in different sets um, so that we can um, finally get using some of these. Uh, and I'm going to ask you guys just to support me in this endeavor. Um, I'll, I always appreciate your um comments like and subscribes um, to the channel and for one lucky winner I am going to have a hidden giveaway so I'm not sure which video I'm going to do it on but there will be one video and the lucky winner will get the bloom collection now this is when I really realized I do not have a very good organizational system with my stamps with forever because look I bought the same collection twice and not even cut at all. Haven't you seen the one? So, I have decided my lack of organization is going to be someone's reward out there. So, one lucky winner will get this full set uncut. I did buy it from the farmer's market for anyone who does follow greeting farms. Um, and so, it doesn't have the nice covers that you see. It uh, comes without the pictures on it, but I will be making some projects with my other set so that you can see how adorable these images are so thank you guys so much for all your support for my channel um and i hope you enjoy this month's uh project it's projects that i'm going to be doing with the greeting farm i wonder how many i'm going to get through all right so i'm going to actually start with one today so let's get started guys for this one, I'm using the Miss Anya Spring, and I'm going to go put it in my Misty. I am actually going to use all three stamps for this images. So I first, I'm going to ink it up with some Memento ink. I am actually using Rich Cocoa instead of the Tuxedo Black. Then I will go ahead and mask this image over. I've already had this mask pre-cut, and then I'm going to put the other characters right next to them. So just to make a like a group of them standing together. A lot of times when you stamp, you do find that sometimes you have to do it more than once, which is what you're going to see me do here. And then I'm going to go ahead and do it again with this other image. Fortunately, I got a nice crisp uh, one this time. Peel off my mask and there you go. I got all three images all on one. I love this little scrubber to get off any excess glue that you have on there. So now let's get coloring. So for the first image, I'm going to use the following colors. E000. E double zero, E zero four, E eleven, and E twenty one. 
For each of these images, I did decide to use a different color combination, so I will be sure to list those below if you want to try them out yourself. Um, I was trying to go for some different skin tones here. Coloring really does take the longest period of time for me, so I'm going to go ahead and transition this over to some music so you guys can enjoy the rest of this video. I will be sure to try to put all the color combinations that I used for both the skin, the hair, and the outfits below. Mm -hmm. 